Yo. What's up? What are you looking at? All right, I noticed something on Instagram. There's a lot of these food pages. You know what I mean? Like a lot yeah, of these of pages have like big Instagrams, but like, how do we even know they're good? They look good. They look good, right? Yeah. A lot of Instagram pictures look good. Like for example, Instagram models. They look good on yeah, Instagram. they never are good. And they never look the same. So I want to do an experiment. I want to hit up the most famous places in LA for food. Try them out and let you guys know, is it worth it? Or, or is it just for show? You know what I mean? Does that make sense? That's a great idea. I feel like 100% people come here trying these things. Like, yeah. for example, the black ice cream. Everyone has seen it. You know, the black ice cream cone with the black ice cream on top. What do they do with it? They take a photo. They take a it. photo. Yeah. But what does it actually taste like? Is it good? Is it worth it? How much does it cost? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. yeah I yeah. think we should go try it. Let's hit them. I got a list of places. Let's go check it out. I feel like you're just trying to figure out a way that we can just eat bad food. I just, I, I can't, I can't even help myself at this point. It's too late for me. I just got to keep doing it and just turn into the 600 pound life story. I'm going to be on TLC soon guys, my 600 pound life. Let's do this. This is one of Los Angeles' iconic ice cream. It's a black ice cream cone with a cone, black cone to match. So here are the two ice creams. Let's get these beauty shots rolling so we can really see what we're working with here. Test time. Let's see. It's like a mocha coffee flavored, but it's not too coffee. It's like very uh, vanilla-y, almost like chocolate. Can I can I see your teeth? They, Are they, they black? They're pretty much black, yeah. It honestly tastes like a Starbucks coffee, but with a lot of milk. It's actually pretty good. This one over here. Oh, this is a winner right here. What was the flavor, dude? This is caramel cream flavored. It is a swirl. It's melting in my hand right now, but it is so good and such rich, so rich of flavor. But the hype, like there's a big line in there. The hype is very much there because of the aesthetic of it. It's a black ice cream with a black cone. Very interesting. Would I come back? Maybe if I'm in the area. Keep in mind, these two ice cream cones are $14. That's $7 a cone. And honestly, it's just all right. Like it's good, but it's just ice cream for $14. So, wait, so is this for Instagram or is this for taste? This is definitely for Instagram. It, I Look at these photos that I got of this thing. But it's not like something I would drive out here for just to have these, especially for the price point of $14. That's expensive. So right next to me is Meatzilla. This place is literally a little hole in the wall. Normally, I wouldn't stop at a place like this if I was driving by because it just kind of looks just out of place. It's literally right next to a hotel and it's just, next, it's just, it's just kind of random. But this place obviously got big because of their photos and their unique burgers. Like I've never seen a burger with a pizza on top. So I'm gonna give this place a taste test. The rating is, is an A, so obviously that's a good sign. And clearly they're doing something right if they have customers out front and they have such an, a big Instagram page. So let's go try this thing. This right here is a burger of all burgers. At first we literally thought it was just a heated up pizza on top, like a little microwave pizza, but it's not. It's an actual bottom bun. With it. They put some mini pepperonis on there. Like this is very creative. Like I would have never thought to do something like this. So now we're gonna do a taste test. So what we got inside is we got some onions, we got some pickles, we got two different types of cheeses, what looks to be American cheese and pepper jack cheese. We got double the meat and we got a pizza on top. So with no further ado, let me taste this bad boy. tried before Does it's it so dense like you take a bite of this look how thick that is that's one bite I didn't even get to the pickles yet it is like so many different flavors like you have the, the the traditional pizza flavoring you know the pepperonis the cheese the sauce but then you get deeper into that bite and you start to get meat cheese bun everything and it's just such like a weird combination but at the same time it's like something you wouldn't expect to be this good and it's it's delicious so not only is this for Instagram keep in mind this was also a $14 burger so not only is this for Instagram but it's also like good if you're willing to spend $14 for a burger this is the place to come for sure and keep in mind this burger usually comes with ketchup but I just think ketchup with pizza that's a no-go so I just said no ketchup and this thing is amazing definitely is Instagram worthy and definitely is stomach worthy this is the place to come So here we 
here we are at the Cluck and Chicken. They're famous for their chicken sandwiches. Basically, they uh, sell out a lot. So what we got is we got one mild, we got one hot, and we're gonna taste it. The aesthetic of it is very nice. Here's a lot of pictures on Instagram. It actually goes viral for these pictures. So they sell these sandwiches as one sandwich or two sandwiches. We got the two sandwiches. We got one hot, we got one medium hot. People usually hold up the photos or they just take them on these tables. Here's a bunch of those photos now. So with no further ado, we retracted to this place. So we're gonna try this. Uh, mm. Okay. I taste the spice. It's starting to heat up my mouth. It's very nice. The chicken is super tender and super uh, like fresh. It basically just came out right out of a fryer. And it's like if you guys remember the last chicken one we did, it didn't taste as good as this. This tastes very, very fresh. And it's quite interesting because when you look at it, it doesn't look like it's gonna like be as soft and tender as it is. It looks like it's gonna be very hard and like with a crusted shell around it, but it's not. It's super soft, super tender and it's, it's actually really good, and I'm actually, I enjoy it. So, worth the price of $14 for two sandwiches. I'm enjoying this one sandwich, so it's basically like $7 a sandwich with some fries. Would you order the two, or would you come in here and just get one? I don't know, I gotta see how I feel after eating a whole sandwich, yeah. but I mean, it's a big sandwich, so. I don't know, you wanna try the hot one and tell me how yeah. hot it is? Mine's, mine's not that hot, it's more of just like a nice little warming feeling. What I really like about this is like the chicken's not in the sandwich, it kind of sits on top of the sandwich like yeah. a little bed, you know? It's, like, it's like, almost like a hot dog, Yeah, in a way. It does, it literally looks like a hot dog. Okay, so when you first bite into it, it's very creamy, it's very juicy, and then after you like swallow the actual chicken down, it starts getting hotter and hotter. The more talking, it's getting hotter in my mouth right now, I'm gonna have to crack this water bottle open. I don't know the difference between the two because it's not like a hot wing oil that they're putting on it. It's definitely, like yours has, it has a powder. It has a flaky powder. It has powder. a chili powder on it as well as the initial hot sauce itself. So I think yeah. the powder is what makes it a little extra hot. I think, um, I definitely think the batter is what the mild is and what determines this to be a hot is the powder that they put on top or of it. Or the sauce could be the hot. Like I don't know what the sauce is. Let's give the sauce an individual taste. Yeah, on a fry? Let's taste it on a fry. The sauce isn't hot though. No, that's the initial creaminess that yeah. I taste when I That's it. just like the flavor added to it, but yeah. it's not really hot. I mean, I guess it has a little bit of a tiny scent to it, but yeah. of hotness, but it's not. It's more like hot. a chipotle mayo kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Which already is in here. On the bread, you can see that they put it on there first, then they put it on top. I definitely think the powder is what actually makes it spicy. With that being said, for $14, I definitely think this is a steal of a place because you not only get an aesthetic Instagram photo, but you actually get quality food. So I would definitely recommend this place, and this place isn't just for aesthetics. It tastes good too. Let's go to the next place. Okay, so let's talk about this first. This is real, like, as Latino as you can get in this place because, like, this is something that the Latinos do. We got some Doritos. They cut the top off and they actually put some nacho cheese. What was advertised was the hot Cheetos, but I decided, you know what, let's go with the nacho cheese Doritos and then actually put nacho cheese yeah. on there. So, let's try this. Oh, wow. That's some real, like, nacho cheese on top of mm. nacho cheese flavor. Very interesting. Surprisingly enough, the actual nacho cheese powder Tastes nothing like nacho cheese, like of the actual Dorito. Yeah. Until yeah, you yeah. actually compare it with Two real nacho together. cheese, like this. This is a combination that that is amazing. Wait, a Dorito is supposed to be nacho flavor? Mm-hmm. Wow. But I didn't even know that because it doesn't taste it like. It doesn't it. taste like nachos, but this is amazing. An amazing invention that you guys can even do at home. This one we definitely didn't get the full Instagram aesthetic because if it was it's for Instagram, hard, like, if it was for Instagram and we wanted to do it and make it for our food page, we would have cut this very, very low and then drizzled the cheese on top of it so it would have been more like aesthetic, but we didn't make it, so. We didn't have it. Yeah, we didn't make it. <laughs> they so. did it, so that's how they did it. So we couldn't do an actual Instagram picture for it. It's a cool little idea. It's a fun little snack. Yeah. It's delicious, whatever. Next thing we got, talk about it. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so we got a fruity, this is a cereal shake. We have a fruity pebble shake. I'm not too sure what like goes into it. All I know is, is they obviously like blended yeah. up the fruity pebbles. And then they, and they top put it off with, with whipped cream and yeah. You better wash your hands before you get in my new car. Mm. Every spoonful is like a packed punch of fruity pebbles. Yeah. Oh wow. I can it's like actually like cereal. Yeah, it tastes like cereal. It tastes like cereal in shake form. It's so weird because it actually tastes somewhat good. Yeah, you know the vanilla that they're using is 
very, very sugarful. Oh uh, yeah, you you definitely know it's yeah. sugar filled because you can just taste it, but it, it makes it that much better, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. it's so good. That's, that's a win. Like, right look there. at it, look how pretty it is. I'm gonna dip that in there. That's a win. That's like something I would come back for. So this place, not only is it aesthetic, it's absolutely delicious, and they have so many more options inside. Yeah. They had cinnamon toast crunch. They had uh, some frosted other flakes. frosted flakes. They had they had a bunch of different cereals. We just decided to choose the most yeah. prettiest one. They also have raspados. They have mango raspados. They have everything. I, I don't even know. They have caramel apples with like the the paste. On tamarindo. It. Yeah, tamarindo paste on it. How crazy is that? Like this place is a little hidden gem. If you are in the North Hollywood area, make sure you come check this place out. Uh, it's called Slushy Land. Slushy Land. It's pretty good. Yeah. We filmed these all in one day, but the one that we were trying to go to sold out because this is how good this place is. It sold out by 12 o'clock. How do you sell out burritos by 12 o'clock? I don't know. It's supposed to be open till like 3 or something. Yeah, like it's Ridiculous. supposedly one of the best burritos in LA. So let's go check this one out tomorrow morning. Come on. Just put this in this video and just react to it as any other little like popular Instagram trend place but I'm actually gonna make a full video about this place because it is five stars so why not do a five star burrito review we've never done one of those before this is in North Hollywood area and oh my god it looks insane All right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get this before it gets cold so let me know which one of those Instagram restaurants was just for show and which one is a you should go. Let me know in the comments below. Before you get out of here, make sure you go to BrandonTaylor.com and check out the new merch. Get a zoom in on this and really see the new design. It is super summer, super fun, and super amazing. It's available at BrandonTaylor.com, super limited as well. So if you do want one, I recommend going to BrandonTaylor.com and checking it out right now before they are absolutely sold out because they're gonna go quick. And until next time, I love you guys so much. Subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time I post. Peace out. Make sure you guys check out yesterday's video, and also make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. Follow me on my other social medias, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.